hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about how we can migrate SharePoint list or files from one SharePoint tenant to other SharePoint tenant so I'll be creating three different videos to explain the entire concept so the first topic I would be covering is just like moving SharePoint files or items from one SharePoint site into one of the tenant and to another destination tenant so this is basically uh, creating a simple flow and then creating a connection and then moving the data across in the second video I would be covering that how to update the modified date and modified by fields post migration so if we are moving the data and we don't want to see that data is migrated few seconds ago or the data is migrated with the name of uh, the person who is running the flow so we have we want to update those modified date and uh, modified by fields so I'll run you through how you can update modify data and modify by fields post migration of the data and in the third video I'll be talking about export and import SharePoint list definitions across tenant so in case you are having multiple lists where you cannot manually create the list uh, columns into the destination tenant so probably you may want to export the entire list template and then import that into SharePoint using Power Automate so all these three topics is I'm going to cover is using Power Automate. There would not be any uh, PowerShell scripting or PNP scripting we are going to do because it's purely for power users who are familiar with the SharePoint list libraries and can work with the Power Automate. So it's not for those users who actually like move the uh, do the migration by themselves, hardcore developers. So it's for the power users. So let's start with our first topic. I'll be covering in this video that is move files and SharePoint items to another tenant. So for that, I have one of my SharePoint site which is into my this tenant. It's a source tenant you can say XIMT, and I have created one another tenant that is this WFMN0 tenant, and there's an entirely different tenant. And my users are also entirely different into this. So with this tenant, I have a different user ID, and into my source tenant. I have a different user ID as we have these two uh, different tenants so we are going to take help of Power Automate to move the stuff so right now I have opened my this financial details list which is having multiple columns into my source site and I can open the I can create a list manually sort of sales one of the list which I've created and added few more columns for which I wish to transfer the data and as well as I wish to move few of the files into my this destination tenant so I'll just clean up this one so that this document library should be empty initially and I wish to move few files from my source tenant from let's say from one of the document library let's say this converted PDF which is having four or five documents over there so we wish to move the data and keep this data the properties intact as well modified and modified by so let's start by creating the simple migration workflow for the topic number one which i have just told you that move files and sharepoint items so we'll start by creating connections first of all and i'll create two connections first of all so one for my source tenant and another for destination tenant so if you are already working with your uh, so standard then you must be having your connection already established your connection created for SharePoint for your source But for destination we would require to create an explicit connection So I clicked on this mode which opened this connections. I can pin this up and I can click on this connection So over here I will see all the existing connections which I have already created and we can start creating the connection so right now if you search for your this uh, existing connection into source so you would find many connections for SharePoint already existing so you can leverage any of the existing connection but for destination for the new tenant you have to create a new connection over here so I'll just start with creating a new connection SharePoint and connect directly cloud service I'll create that so the pop-up would ask me to connect to which tenant so as I have already logged into my this destination connection first time so I have all I can see my name over there otherwise you can use use another account and providing the username password 
for that destination tenant you would allow to create this connection so when you click when you sign in then you have to just click and the connection would establish for you so this is how you can create a connection for your destination tenant where you want to move the files so we are done by creating connections that's step one now we can start creating our power automate and that is instant cloud flow i'll choose the trigger as manual as we want to move the data from source tenant sharepoint site to destination one i will just start with action get items for sharepoint list and as soon as this get items added so we'll go to these three dots we'll check like which connection we want to use so as this is a my source site so i will be using the connection as this xmd which is my source tenant so i'll just click on this one which is already by default selected so i'll just select the site address from which i wish to move the data so i'll just select spfx site list name we are going to move the data from financial detailed list and i wish to move data entirely so i would not actually include any uh, data filter query i can directly go to my next step of creating items into my destination tenant so i'll just say create item clicking on create item so now if i click on this site address you will see the site address of my existing source tenant only so for that i have to click on this three dots change the connection look for the active connection for my destination tenant click there if you now click on it you will find that there are two sites i'll just select this finance one and pick the list out of it so list name is sales and now i can start mapping the data too so i have these three columns over there so i can just start with let's say title from the dynamic content and it automatically binded that to apply to each because these are the items would be iterating through and in country i'll just bind the country column and in product i'll bind the product column so this is how you can if your list is having 10 columns and you will see all the 10 columns you have to create a manual a mapping to it and then you can run it to move the data so this is how the data would be copied so same thing we are going to do it for the files so i'll just i want to move few files as well from one of the document library so this is a document library converted pdfs and these four five files i wish to move along with my migration so what i can do i'll just start with get file properties action so this file properties action i will make a connection to my source first of all source uh, site so that is my this spfx the connection already default selected is my source tenant only so i'm good and i can from this library i can just pick this converted pdfs document library and in next step i wish to have the file content because i wish to create the new files so this first step get files properties will only give me the properties as we want the file identifier so in choose operation i'll just say get file content so that we can create the files and in this again by default is selected with my source tenant so i'm good i can just select directly my site and in file identifier i'll pick that from dynamic content you can type in identifier and from the previous action the get file properties will map that and it will automatically bind that to apply to each so now we got this file content now the next step is create file so i'll just say create file and this time this file i wish to create into my destination tenant sharepoint site so i'll just select the connector to my destination tenant site and map it this to and select this site as finance site and map the folder to my default documents so i'll just choose share documents file name we'll just choose the file name as name with extension and the content from the previous file content property. So 
So this is how it will iterate through this my document library of converted PDFs and then move them uh, to my destination tenant. So I'll just name my workflow as migration flow and save it and run it. I'm going to do a test run now. So it will sign in both of the connections. One is for source and another for destination tenant. And when we click on run flow, it will start the flow. So it has started migrating the content and we can go to our destination site to look at. So we can go to our first of all sales list. We should start seeing the content. Yes. And if, if, if I go to the documents, we should start seeing the document migration as well. So right now it's iterating through because it's having more than 100 records, I think. So once this step is completed, then we'll get to the files migration. So now the file migration is started. And if I refresh the site into my destination tenant SharePoint site, I've started looking at this new file migrated from Power to me. So this is the simple way of moving the uh, data or SharePoint list items or files to a new tenant altogether for power users. Of course, for developers, we have different ways of doing it. But if you are just familiar with the Power Automate, then you can just create a simple workflow, simple flow to move the content. But as, as I said, like in initial part, like after the moving the content, I wish to update the modified date and modified by fields post migration so that it should not be looking like that it mig the data is migrated just few seconds ago which gives a wrong interpretation that these files was created just few seconds ago by this person so what we are going to do in next video is i am going to update these two fields post migration along with the migration of individual data so what we are going to do, we are going to use the leverage the same workflow, but I will do some adjustment so that I can update the modified by and modified fields properties. So that can be done for any of the file in the same tenant itself. Like if you wish to move the files across uh, SharePoint site within the same tenant, then also you can write that script, which I'm going to the way which I'm going to update the modified fields. So uh, let's wait for that. That's it for today's video. Thank you.